Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for you. We are here to make a delicious peanut butter chocolate chip cookie cake. So stay tuned. It is so good, so delicious. I think I'm gonna have a bite in front of you right now. Oh, look at the chocolate in that. Yum. It's got a nice um, kind of a peanut butter streusel topping that cooks right with it. So you don't need any frosting. It is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Watch this episode. We are starting with a half a cup of butter and one cup of creamy peanut butter. And we want to get this blended really well together so that um, we don't have any chunks of butter. Okay, we are going to add our two cups of sugar and we are going to gradually beat that in. Make sure you do this part. After that, we will add our eggs one at a time and we do this for emulsification. Now, also, you will want to scrape down the sides of your bowl because you want all that egg to get incorporated. And you just keep adding your eggs one at a time and they're going to get a nice fluffy batter. I should have slowed down my beaters before I added the milk. Slow down your beater, add the milk gradually so that you don't get it flying all over the place and make a big mess like me. Add your vanilla in there also and just get that all incorporated. We are going to sift in our dry ingredients, which are flour, baking powder, and salt. And then we are gonna mix those. Again, I started a little too quick there and make sure you scrape down the sides so that you get all the flour incorporated in your batter. Incorporate the flour really well and make sure you beat it for a good two minutes to get it nice and fluffy. This part is optional adding chocolate chips. Uh, oops, I'm spilling my chocolate chips. I'm just throwing them all in there. Now I put in a cup of chocolate chips and um, I wanted more chocolate, so I chopped up this um, Icelandic candy bar I had and um, that was just pure chocolate. This looks amazing. Now onto the frosting. It's a crumble topping really, and it's just gonna bake right with the cake. This crumble topping is absolutely spectacular. We are mixing one cup of peanut butter, a quarter cup of chopped peanuts, half cup of flour, a half a cup of quick oats or old fashioned oats, and also one cup of powdered sugar. We're gonna mix this together and it's not gonna to come together well. It's gonna be a crumbly mess like this, absolutely spectacular. And it, we are just gonna sprinkle it all over our delicious cake. How easy is that? We are gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 50 to 60 minutes. Okay, our cake is out and cooled. Um, you see on this side of my small oven out in the garage, I have a little browning right here. And so if you have that and notice that problem, put some tin foil over it um, halfway through the baking. Don't seal the edges, just put a piece on top and um, that should take care of that problem. Okay, it's time to try our deliciousness. Now I'm seeing chocolate chips right here and I noticed my cake fell in slightly. It's really hard to tell if you have a, a you know, when you have this crumbly top, how your cake is doing inside. Cause when you pull out like a, a, a toothpick or something, it, you know, you get the crumbles on the top. So it's hard to tell if it was done. It was no longer jiggling, but I do see a little falling here. And I seriously am kind of happy because that means it'll be kind of moist. So it'll be kind of, you know how delicious undone cake is. So we're gonna try to take a bite. I'm not seeing any peanut, any chocolate. Oh yeah, looks like the chocolate fell to the bottom. Mmm, that is rich, delicious, it's very moist. It should be moist when you think of it had a half a cup of butter and one cup of peanut butter, which is a bunch of fat too. So it's very moist. That 
That is so good. It's kind of has that with peanut butter. Like, let me take a drink. Wow, this is good. You know what would make it better? A big old scoop of vanilla ice cream. And since it's my son's birthday tomorrow, I will be serving this with a big old scoop of vanilla ice cream. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe below, give me a thumbs up or a comment, and I would love for you to check out some more of my recipes online. Thanks again.